four four hours in. Four hours How in. We're feeling? going. So we got twenty hours 20 left. Twenty to go. Hey everybody. Hey everybody. Quiet. Uh, welcome to Talking Shit. I'm Eddie Ift. I'm here with Jason Hour. We're in our fourth hour, fifth hour. We're in our fifth hour yeah, of our 24 hour telethon yeah. marathon for the Bingle Bus. Uh, if you haven't donated, go to binglebus.com. And uh, we are going to, uh, we've got a special episode tonight for the podcast. For you, you stream people wa- watching, you'll see some, a lot of people coming in and out right now. The people come. coming in are uh, the, David pa- the David Paul band. Oh, David Chichi's band is here. And uh, we're gonna be we're gonna be doing some cool shit tonight. We've got Jeff Richards as my guest. Jeff Welcome, Richards Jeff Richards, everybody. Yeah, buddy. Our favorite. See you, Adam. Thank um, you, sir. Jeff Richards, who's also known as Jason Hour. How are you, buddy? Um, thank you for being here during the telethon. Thanks the, for having me. Uh, congratulations on reaching your goal. We reached our first goal. We need, still need six. Okay, I mean the original goal. The original. We get the money, but now we need the stretch to get like pay all the bills. And uh, can somebody make sure Harlow doesn't die? Um, she's, she's, don't let her get away. Make sure the gate's closed. Perfect. All right. Jeff, thanks for coming. Appreciate it. How you been? Good. Um, Adam I told th- a funny story about you, a rumor about you telling girls you wanted anal sex or something. And you're like, he told you, he's like, there's a rumor. And you go, is that true? And you go, no, but keep that going. Keep that going, yeah. <laughs> keep it funky. <laughs> <laughs> Who doesn't like anal? Do you like anal, Jason? Uh, not receiving it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you know, it's not that bad. You get used to it. <laughs> it's like anything in life. Ray Roy, did you miss this? Yes, I did. For all you old time <laughs> talking shit listeners, uh, Ray Roy's in the house. Uh, all the guys are coming back. Jesse's Generation back. Generation one talking shit. In the it's room. the end of the show. We're ending yeah, talking shit. We've been doing 370 episodes. Wow. And we're almost done. Like, uh,. Uh, these guys over here, Adrian and uh, Jonathan, have been big time supporters, helped the show go, and they're helping with the bingo bus. Uh, these are our mongs, and uh, I wish the fans could see the mongs. Yeah, we, just, uh, we just set up a new camera. Awesome. So we got four cameras going. Yeah, we got a four. It's the best you stream one. ever. <laughs> More people should be in this. Is it the mong? We got. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, right, right. Can somebody. Hey, Cody. Where's Cody? You take a break, Cody. Cody. What? I need you to charge my phone, please, and okay. also send out tweets on it to tell that we're doing the live uStream and use the use the link. Um, okay, so this episode we're we're running out of just like interviewing people. It's like like an interview, but we've interviewed you. Anything right. crazy going on? Anything happen crazy? Any good stories? I've no, hey. but I'm I'm doing the songs on stage and it's a lot of fun. Can you sing with the band? Sure. We got a band here tonight. Uh, we are gonna do Chi Chi's band is gonna play, uh, and we're gonna do an American Idol competition, where we really try to sing seriously. Like no joke. Like you can't try to be funny. You have to try to sing well. And now I can't do it because I have congestion. <laughs> But I'm saying you got to try as hard as you fucking can. We'll let the people on Ustream vote on <laughs> on who should win. Vote with your dollars, people. <laughs> <laughs> Harlow. Um, all right. So right now, everybody think about what song you want to sing, because these guys can pretty much cover anything. So you're just going to do a cover song. Are we going to get in trouble for copywritten material? Mm-hmm. We're going to get flagged. If we su- if we're covering it, no, I don't think so. Yeah, you can't do you can't do a live performance. No, they might pull us off no, Ustream. No, no, no. We lose our telethon. We don't want to do that. Fuck. So what are we gonna do? There goes that idea. Just rhyme the word. Whatever the song is, just make up another word that sounds like it. Like I was thinking, Enter Sandman. I can just say Enter Sandbag. Chichi, what are we gonna do? We're gonna get cut off Ustream. No, you're not. Yeah, we will. Copywritten material. Do what he says. You're parody. Yeah, but. How's that work? They have a bot that like finds. Uh, I mean, the, the bot might be different because it's not a recorded version; it's a live version of the song, so the bot might not get us. But you're not supposed to. I don't know these guys are pretty good. It might be right on the nuts. I met a guy. I went to a strip club with a guy like five years ago who invented the software. His company that finds all this shit. I'm like, what the fuck? How did you make that? He went. You went to school with the ultimate narc. No, 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 I didn't go to school. I went to a strip club with Sorry, him. Sorry, strip club. 
Same yeah. thing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He, he is like. The Did you learn anything guard. that night, Eddie? Hey, uh, anybody here uh, is are any of our fans talking about you can or can't do that? I got a message. These guys are trying to call me during the show, but because I'm in the rape hole here, I have no reception. It's not the rape hole, Jason. But uh, uh, John, hey, it's John from the missionary. It's John from the Church of Jesus Christ Latter Day Saints. Our names are Elder Beard and Elder Shepherd. We received your request. We wanted to talk, call, and find a time to meet you to answer any questions. Should I just send him a message and say? Come over anytime. Yes, we are inviting some Mormon missionaries <laughs> over. I gotta go outside to and grab signal us. though. I gotta go get signal. I'll be right back. Okay. So Jeff, fill in for me, okay? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it it has been too long, but watch he's gotten. This, watch this. I got a message today from my phone, <laughs> and it says, "Dear Doctor Oz." <laughs> There is immense pressure on the lower stem of my bladder. <laughs> I'm currently seeking medical help. Please send SOS. <laughs> Love, Cheryl. I better go handle this. <laughs> Jason, go get the missionaries here. Give me a lighter. Get the elders over here. Yeah, we thought it'd be a funny segment if we have a couple Mormons come by and try to convert us. <laughs> and uh, so I went on some website and it said, put your name and information. Of course I put his. <laughs> That's hilarious. I love how Jay Jason had one job to do. One job was, to, well, two, to get a bearskin rug and to get Mormons over here. And he's like, how the fuck am I supposed to get Mormons over there? You wanted me to get a dick pump, too. Did you get the dick pumps? There's no way to get you a dick pump. We need two dick I pumps. I am a dick pump. <laughs> <laughs> so... So the whole thing was, we want to get, uh, we want to get uh, uh, the Mormons over here. So I go, Jason, get him. He's like, how am I supposed to get fucking Mormons? I go, they're fucking trying to get in everyone's house. It's pretty easy. So I put them. You afraid? Of, yeah, it goes through. So uh, Jason doesn't do anything. Then I put his name in. Watch him take credit for this. He'll be like, I got the Mormons over here. All I had to do was call them. They gave me their number, and then I knew it, and then I got through to it. <laughs> she was a ghost lady. She ran out of here as fast as can be. I didn't get a look at her. <laughs> she looked like a zebra in the path. Why, where are bikes going? What is happening? <laughs> <laughs> Machete's just got a bike. Is he what is happening? What? Where? Are you going to lock them up outside? No. This is just getting out of hand. <laughs> is that where the band's going to play? In there? They can't play on the steps? Too small? This has always been my dream. I want to have my own variety show in my house, like a band playing in the corner. And it's like, no, no network was going to give me a TV show. So I'm making my own. You're making your own <laughs> as you should. And it's all it's happening simultaneously. <laughs> Jesse's back. Ray Roy's back. Jesse, could you get on the mic? <laughs> it's been a long time. I know. Now that Jason's not here, should I talk shit about him now? Yeah, please do. Cause or should, should I wait till he, he gets, gets back? He gets so fucking uptight about p picking on him now. So do it. Go. What? No, then I'm going to wait till he gets back. <laughs> Come on. No, no, he gets re he'll leave. He'll storm out. Well, that's exactly what he I'll did for on twice. the band. <laughs> yeah. I'll leave twice. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it's a long enough show that he'll band. come back. I had to charge my phone. He was part of Jesse. Is that it's out it's almost like a Moran, a Rick Moran is over there. <laughs> it's amazing. Harlow. <laughs> what are the fans saying? Weeble wobble. If they want Jason to ride the bike down the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> they want Jason to ride the bike down That'd the stairs. That'd be sweet. Um it could happen. It could happen later in the show. Not yet. We're still only uh, four hours and ten minutes in. Oh. Fuck! What are we doing? I'll tell, I'll tell this. Jason was such a bitch. It was hilarious. First of all, he uh, we got like a band space, and he had a job at that point. And this was after he had, had quit your the the podcast. And uh, he uh, so he's like, I got a job now, man. I'll put money down on the room. And I was like, 
all right, buddy, you sure you can do that? He's like, yeah, man, I can do it. No problem. I'm good, man. Thank you. He's like, oh, yeah, no, no problem, man. I got it. So, like, literally he pays me the first month. The, the next five months, <laughs> nothing. <laughs> and then and then the uh, the last month uh, we were, like, having a practice or something. Chi-Chi was there. Where's Chi-Chi at? He's outside grabbing uh, stuff. So Chi-Chi was there, and uh, he uh, – like we're teaching the brothers, the David Paul band, the Chigi and his brother David, uh, the new songs. Oh, here we go. Oh. And like w we were trying to figure out a note, what, right? And like, or did you guys already talk about this on here? <laughs> no, okay. on the Moncast, but go ahead. Yeah, yeah, he was trying. We were trying to figure out a note, and David uh, and, and Jason's like, "It's this note, man." And we're like, <laughs> li "Well, let's just listen to the recording from before, because we have recordings from previous." Pre uh, playing it previously and and we're like we'll just listen to it and jason's <laughs> like no no it's this note and i was like let's just listen to it He's, he just fucking takes off his bass throws it on the ground and is like i'm fucking out of here and i was like all right well if you're the night I left, yeah i was you're like lying your ass off. <laughs> oh because we, we have two witnesses here <laughs> what was your story of, the, of this i turned to chi chi and i said hey buddy i'm really tired i'd like to go home and he goes <laughs> he goes he goes <laughs> This is what set me off. And you go, if you do, don't bother coming back. <laughs> that is you, not you said that to me. I, it and wasn't, that was why I took my base off and left. It wasn't. It wasn't. That's what you said to me. And I, I was like, all right, buddy, all I, in. I did, I did say that. I did say that. But it was. It, you. No, I wasn't. It was, you didn't no, you're say. you're being a prick. You you're didn't on say, cocaine. That you're is being a bullshit. Prick. You did not say, I want to go home. No, I was not on cocaine. You were on cocaine that night. You said, I was not on cocaine. You were like, you were like, oh, I want to. what happened. And then one of them walked out. No, 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 no. Chi Chi. He, we were talking about a note. He did not go, I'd like to go. I'm no, I was tired. tired I and that's what home. I said to him. And you said, I don't remember that. If you do, no, no one remember remembers that part. It was, get out, though. Yeah, because when he, because he just, all I see is him take off his base and be like, I'm out of here. And I was like, cool, if you go, don't come back. And that was that. No, no, no. I said, I'm pretty tired. I wouldn't mind leaving. And you know, <laughs> that was it's not it at all, Jason. <laughs> Jason, <laughs> you've never said that ever. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I was, I was tired. I wanted to go. And you said, if you go, don't come back. I did say that, but so that was not what it was. But that's that is not, that's not the the actions or words that preceded that conversation. Since there's no recording of the event, <laughs> oh, okay, well, uh, we'll, we'll just was, take your word for it. There then. actually Actually, is a recording. Yeah, yeah. yeah there's there's, a recording. there's three pe there's six people's memory. Hey. Uh, two of them are it's here it's right now. Like this. Oh, yeah. by the way, Benny's moving back. Nusa doesn't like drums. Oh, he is. October. No way. He's yeah. coming back to town. Hilarious. Nusa, get upstairs. Go upstairs. You guys gonna start a band? Um. <laughs> I'm just gonna do. Can Jeff Richards music. sing some of his songs with your band? Fuck yeah! Uh, his songs, we could sing some songs. He knows. You so. got a wireless mic now? Yeah. Fuck! This show is evolving by the hour. Good thing you're moving it all onto a bus. It's, <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing how the last episode uh, they've all brought it. Yeah. <laughs> like everyone's doing their job. It's all effective. They, high tech. They've wired under the couch. There's taped down. Taped all the down, cameras are in no place. Tripping. They're like, all right, we'll fucking do it. For you guys time. don't even have a generator on the fucking bus. Like, you're gonna be. No, you're gonna be running shit well, off like, of the cigarette here's lighter. Here's the or? best part. Jason says that he's found us free power for the bus. Uh, I did. Right. How? Solar panels. Yep, <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> you know you're gonna be driving at night a lot, right? I know it c <laughs> they can pull power from moon, and it's really about the. But it also comes with a. <laughs> I know. I, I, think what? about it. all you gotta do is put a chain from your car and then attach to the moon, <laughs> and whenever it moves around like it does, then you can move around too wherever it goes. I guess it drags you wherever you want. <laughs> She was like, great big fat woman. <laughs> I, as soon as Jason said that, I saw Jeff Richards go like, like, I got one. <laughs> I got one. The great thing is the moon's oh. wherever you go. It's always there. <laughs> I might. got an idea for an invention. Taco flavored toothpaste. <laughs> But his Jason Hour sounds like Rick Moranis yeah, from Ghostbusters. Yeah, but it's okay. <laughs> you say things like he says. We wish he sounded like that. <laughs> oh, he's getting mad, Jesse. <clears throat> I love Jeff. What about Jesse? <laughs> I love Jesse. <clears throat> I love you, Jesse. <laughs> <laughs> No, I love him so much. It's like for, <laughs> for Valentine's Day, I already got planned. <laughs> Chocolate covered eggs for me. <laughs> and I'm going to get him to sign them in vanilla ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
Jason, you forgot to tell Adam Hunter your idea. Uh, which Can't one? Run. You got to find out everybody's vehicle. Find out, Jeff. I tried, and you shot me down. Tell Jeff and Jeff, out. we're gonna do a cannonball run race across America. Oh, that's a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna go to the podcast uh, convention over here next month in uh, Santa Monica. Don't look at me. You're on your own. I'm gonna dress as Captain Chaos. <laughs> Aren't you already? <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Getting. It's, I mean, I'm actually evolving into the character. Yes. Sure. Yeah. And uh, we're gonna issue a challenge to all the podcasts to uh, to do this cannonball run race with us. And uh, we got, don't look at me, you're on your own. <laughs> Graham Elwood's all about it. <laughs> oh, you got one in some drivers. Together. Yeah, yeah. Hen- Henry Phillips, uh, he said he'd do it. Yeah. And we know the Kooks of Comedy will do it if Lachlan's not on some national fucking tour. <clears throat> so we got a few contenders in there already. What do you? You're wanna... not good at pitching, Jason. Well, I, I don't need to pitch. I know he's in. <laughs> You're in, Jeff? Oh, totally. What are you talking about again? <laughs> Cannonball run across America. Oh, you want just to drive real fast across the country? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's called Cannonball Run, man. It's called Cannonball <laughs> Run. Get a Cannonball Run. <laughs> Jason, you don't pitch it well. You don't. And uh, what we'll do is uh, we'll st- we'll have the stop points. We'll be at comedy clubs, and then all the podcasts. We all do sh- all the comics. We'll do shows at the show at the club. Big Sounds really party. organized. <laughs> well, Eddie had a. I mean, I didn't go to bed yet since yesterday, so well, that's like, obvious. So like, I'm still up. You I mean, started a day early. Yeah, I did. I started the telethon early. That's like the, maybe the dumbest thing he could do. Accusing me of doing cocaine, Jesus. Well, I did cocaine. Yes. <laughs> it was there. What do you, you do? You did cocaine it's, yesterday. It's yeah, I did. It. I'm glad you're Last in such a good night. place, Jay. <laughs> mm. No, what's happened is things are going right in his life, so he's trying to ruin it. Oh, nice! <laughs> Just my body. He can't handle. What? He can't handle success. What else has gotten? Is he getting pussy? Or? He's, he was getting pussy. Yeah, I'm we getting pussy. We got the money for the bingo bus, all this stuff, and Jason was like, "I gotta fuck this." What up. about your job? I got a job. He's got a job. Everything. Nice. I gotta go straight from here to there. What time? Three in the afternoon tomorrow. Oh boy. When we hit twenty-four hours, but he already had twenty-four hours of partying before it. So he, you, the job is TBD right now. <laughs> we'll see how long that lasts. Well, no, I mean, you know, I plan on sleeping while I'm awake. <laughs> <laughs> I figure if I just concentrate, I can get there. <laughs> so you're going to be up for 48 hours and then do a job. Yeah. That's healthy. But, I, you know, I, I, I've done this before. And how long how, how long have you kept a job for before? <laughs> My longest job was six years. What was that? Groundwork. Five and a half. You worked there for five, five years. Five and a half years, man. Oh, wow. How long did you build the log cabins for? One year. All right. Yeah, that was just to raise money for my wedding. <laughs> I didn't know that that was part of that story. <laughs> Neither did I. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, this was before, like, Kickstarter or whatever. Yeah. So you were just like, I'm going to build Log a cabin Starter. in the woods, and <laughs> you give me money for my... Oh. Yeah, no, I mean, that's why I did that job, was to... Oh. To, to pay for the to, wedding. To make money, because it was good pay, you know, fucking hustling timber in the woods. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, we're in our fifth show. We're in our fifth show. <sighs> Are you are you are you trying to have trouble? Well, I got a little high just now. So That's always it'll, good. It'll wear off. Like in a don't little anybody. While. That was whoever handed me a beer. Fuck off. I yeah, no more beer. Drink. Water. We're, we're gonna need water. to get Jason more cocaine. I think. <laughs> <laughs> uh, by the way, this is live on UStream, so the stuff you're saying goes out there. So like when we record it and play it, the police can't show up. But when you're saying it on live over the internet and basically saying, "Hey, we're at a party and we're all gonna be doing cocaine." Uh, it's encouraging. Come on by. Yeah. If you got more of it. <laughs> um, so we're into our fourth hour, four hours and 20 minutes. 420, we, bro. Oh, 420. Uh, we just did 420. Uh, how much money have we raised? The taco truck's going to be here in 10 minutes. Nice. The taco truck is here in 10 minutes. Jeffrey. Andrew. 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 Hello. You can't just walk by. Oh, you're going to need more of that. Come on in. Come say hi. These are all the guys, the show. Andrew's my neighbor. We're doing a 24-hour long episode. So if you, we, if you hear any loud noises or anything and you have any problems, come over and complain. Um, but um, 
Uh, these are the guys, and uh, yeah. And this is going to be the crazy. This is it. It's the final one. It's the end. It's the end. No more. Final show. It's a final show, so we're doing a marathon. Well, I'm going to come and sit there. You're welcome to come in at any time. Yeah, wow. You got, got any drugs? Snacks. We got oh, snacks yeah. and beers and drinks and everything, so yeah. right. <coughs> we'll be going till. Th yeah. yeah, invite them in. We're going till 3 tomorrow afternoon. Oh, <coughs> yeah. It won't be loud at night, though. The band but, starts yeah. soon, though. <laughs> <laughs> Not going to be loud at all. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Um, with, with the money that you guys raise after these 24 hours, given the amount of people in this room and like their hourly wage would probably average out to like 40 cents an hour yeah. or something. If you think about it, the 50 grand, if I were to pay everybody like minimum wage, we'd be through it in like two weeks. <laughs> It's That's uh, true. There's a lot of manpower in a show, oh, man. Oh, fuck yeah. If you think about, like, it's Hollywood, though. It's the sweat equity that you put into shit. You never, like, you, when you see, a, a, a like, a Hollywood superstar make it and get all that money, it's like, they deserve that. 40 for souls were spent for that. Fucking, Henry, Henry Rollins said that once about, like, somebody said that, like, actors or musicians are sellouts when they sell their songs to commercials and he's like mm. it's not a fucking sellout no. that's all the money they get for all the shit gigs they did and the years of fucking hell that uh, like if i think about how much money i've made over like, all the shit i've done like all the free shows <laughs> free stuff i'm probably making about three dollars an hour <laughs> oh, i hear chi chi's based yeah, buddy. By the way, Chi-Chi was way better at bass than you. I'm glad you left, Jason. Good. <laughs> no, Chase, Jesse, we don't pick on him anymore. <laughs> I'm not picking on him. I'm just telling him how I feel. Because if you pick on him... I'm a guitarist, Eddie. That doesn't hurt me. <laughs> hey, oh, fuck hey, yeah, Fred dude. Stoller, how are you? We had you back. What's up? He's back. Hey. Fred Stoller. Um, uh, hey. We... <laughs> oh, no, no, dude. No. The sushi oh, yeah, picture on your... Facebook is hilarious. Can I go to the bathroom? Yes, you can. Watch out for the big dog. Where is she? Where is she? Guarding the bathroom. <laughs> come here. No, no, don't, don't go, Fred. Don't go. Don't go. She, she won't let you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come here, Nusa. Come here. Okay, now you can go. <laughs> come here. Come here, nerves. You lost, Nusa. Come here, Nusa Bear. Come here. Just lie oh. down. Relax. Relax, it's a little tense. That. A lot of bodies in the room. All right. So, is it all working? Everything's good? Is this boring? Are the fans saying anything? Uh, yeah, it's like the same six dudes saying a lot of stuff. That's kind of creepy. Yeah. Um, yeah they, they, they're kind of having their own conversation. Oh, they're, they're not even watching the show? It could be better than ours. What are they saying? Uh, what are they discussing? Never mind. Uh, wait, wait. Here. <laughs> uh, I would never strike the Jew. I, I want to work in this town. Yeah, I wonder if, if when you say shit like that, do they hear it? They do hear it? Okay. Oh, they can hear the whole room? Yeah, pretty much. Because the cameras have mics in them too, right? Are those no, through? they don't. Oh. I love how you just... What about this well, coffee cup? Does this have a mic? <laughs> 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 or the shirt? Does this shirt have one in it? Uh, uh, noose, noose, stop doing that. You don't, you don't need to get your fucking... Jeff, what's up, man? That's what's happening? Way to host, been? Jason. Pretty good. Yeah? Anything, anything new and exciting since last time you were on Talking Shit? Is she really? Yeah, she's totally live-tweeting all this. Fred, if you need... There's food, drinks, anything in there. A whole bunch Does of Does she know what she's in store for? Oh, yeah. Condoms? Condoms? We're going to train that girl. Yeah. Lachlan's not going to be here. Tell every girl to just <laughs> pipe down. <laughs> Chi Chi, who's this guy in the band? Josh the drummer. Josh the drummer, how are you? I'm good. All right. Pro. Uh, <laughs> I love the 405. <laughs> yeah, Eddie. good luck. You made fun of her. Eddie, I'll read some comments over here if you want. Uh, Prolapse okay. Anus says Jason is dressed like a mannequin in the Clarence section at Burlington Coat Factory. Uh, <laughs> I've never been there. <laughs> Jason is dressed like he sells fake diamonds on street corners. Uh, no, been there. Supreme Scheme thinks that we should get meth. It's cheaper and lasts longer than Coke. Uh, let's see. Bobby V, a uh, boob V hates me. Um, 
Someone wants us to give Harlow beer? No, she'll drink later. <laughs> she'll Peter, drink later. Peter might be watching this. <laughs> yeah, that's true. We could get in trouble. She's as not she, even of age. Jason's about to suck down a five-hour energy drink. It's, it's my third one. My heart is pounding. It's a good thing, right? No, it's not. You shouldn't be dr They're not healthy. Those things are really dangerous. Well, not after what you've done all night. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I guess that's, that's uh, secondary to uh, the, the, the things you've done. So have we decided what we're going to do? We can't sing the songs because we Do will. your originals, dudes. Can you play your Just originals? Just do your original music. Can, can uh, And then... What are the chances you could have Jeff sing with you? you play guitar? I don't want to risk getting kicked off Ustream because if we... Does anybody out there, if you're listening, shitheads, uh, do you know anything about the legalities of copywritten material on Ustream? Because, uh, you know, I know this. I looked up about us playing like Too Short and... It, there used to be a rule like if you kept under 10 seconds of a song, you could play it and you wouldn't get sued. Or it, No, you can't play anything. What it is is no one's going to sue you because the amount of money it's going to cost to sue you, they're not going to make any money. It's going to cost them too much. That's why people do it. But like if YouTube, if you put any copywritten material, they yank it down right away. It's gone. So Ustream, I assume, is the same thing. They probably use the same bots. So we're probably going to have to go with all your originals. Better for you, man. Wouldn't the fans like to see Chi Chi's band play? I think you just do it. What's the worst they're going to do? They'll yank down our whole stream. No one's, if you were playing the actual song, maybe, but no one's like going to. Have you ever tried using that app that's like that if you can sing into it and it'll tell you what song it is? That, ne that shit never works. I mean, I don't think they're going to actually be able to tell. I, don't, I think it's too risky. I agree with Jeff. <laughs> I think you should just do your originals and guys, and then we get some tacos. <laughs> I'll give five. <laughs> Hundred. Jason's all about the tacos. The taco truck's here when? It's going to probably be here in five minutes. They're parking at eight, so at 8.05, they're going to... Weren't we supposed to save them a spot? Uh, the street opens up at 8 p.m. Okay. So I'm going to go out there and wait for them, but it should be open. Should and, be then, and then don't everybody go at once, because then we don't <laughs> have a run show. Everybody just slow. Hey, that's what we could do. We could play with yeah, while they're doing the, they, yeah. That's a great idea. That's the, the band. That's a great idea. The, the little break with the band. That's a great idea. I'll stay. I'll introduce some of your songs. Je Jeff will do some. Uh, can somebody just bring me back a burrito? Um, Jeff will do uh, some of his songs with you. Do you want a burrito or anything? I don't know. How are we going to do my songs? Yeah, We're going to figure it out. We'll figure it out. I'll we'll make up something. We'll There's a guitar session. here. We'll jam session. I got a guitar here. Fred, are you okay over there? Oh, look at these messages I'm getting. I'm, it says, I'm throwing up sick. I'm watching Seinfeld. It's but the one. Before, it's like such I'm, I'm not thinking I'm bad. I'm in balance. I'm sick. Oh. Who are these people that you associate with? What? Lunacy. Um, <laughs> Is this a girlfriend? Hey. Weevil. Jeff, tell us a story, man. Well, this is going on. Something. Fuck. Yeah. Well, sorry. I just got a little distracted. This is Tori? dead I'm air. I'm not balanced. I'm scared. Dead air. <laughs> Fred, sit down. Sit down, Fred. Eddie. We also have Fred. Supreme Scheme 2 says he'll donate five bucks every time I get Jason's chemicals up. <laughs> <laughs> you motherfucker. <laughs> Yeah, you got to really do it, though. Um, <laughs> well, I'm just playing. This is a marathon. Okay, we're doing... Noosa, move it. Beat it. 24 hours. Uh -huh. We've already raised $50,000 wow. for the bus. 52. Now we want to take it to 60 to pay off all our bills so that we get 50. Phone, um, you know. So I have 24 hours. I asked 24 guest uh -huh. comedians to be on the show, but they all decided to come in the, in the good hours. So at 6 in the morning, we're fucked. That's when Jason and I are going to talk to each other for about six hours. So I knew that guy Lochran, would, are we recording now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He'd be too big after the last comic standing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is he like abandoning your podcast? Yeah, we couldn't get him yeah, here Yeah, he's today. gone. He's in Nashville doing a wow. show. 
but my mom likes him. Yeah. My, mom's, my mom and dad like him too. My mom sent me a message as telling about I played it earlier, telling me how she thinks this Lachlan Patterson, this young fellow, has a future. Yeah, he's only forty, <laughs> <laughs> and my mom's like, he's good looking. He's. Do you know him? She's like, do you know that Lock Lachlan Lachlan P A T T E R like fifty. Yeah, they really did go old this time, like older than usually. They used to go, like, let's get 22-year-olds to have five minutes. Really? It's always people like Doug Benson, Todd Glass. No, I did it with Todd, like, six years ago. Seven six years, years ago? ago? No, yeah. Did already? You think, did it? I did but season like two. Gary I did Goldman, season two. Did you really? They, they, were, they were in the late 30s. I maybe. made it to the final, semifinals. You I was in the, the semifinals. Sem I didn't even I was in the semifinals in season two. I must have known that and forgot. And, uh... And that day I had lunch with John Heffron and it's the year he won and we were talking and John goes, uh, I said, uh, we were all talking about quitting comedy and John goes, yeah, I almost quit until this happened. He goes, he goes, and if this doesn't go well, I'm going to go to like starting a karate school or something. And he goes, hey, I he always goes, have that option. He goes, he goes <laughs> but I do, he goes, I've got a development deal right now. And once that's over and I go, oh, you have a deal? I go with who? And he goes, um, whatever. Whatever the name was, uh, it's, it starts in the E, I think. It's the guy who produces Last Comic Standing. Barry Katz. Yeah. No, but the other guy, uh, the, the bigger guy, the oh, guy I that did 90210. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I go, wait, you have, you have a deal with the producer? And he goes, yeah. I go, congratulations, you won Last Comic Standing. And he goes, no. I go, you've won. You're, they want you to win. You yeah, and he was like, "Isn't that just so crazy that it works like that?" Well, I was telling Lachlan, I was like, "Don't get your hopes up because you're a white man, and we're like the persecuted race now." Right. So NBC could never let a white man win it. It announces tomorrow night, and it's down to three. It's a black woman, a black guy, and a white man. And I think the politically correct thing to do they they if they go they already chose Jimmy Fallon and Seth Meyer to be the late night. If they have another white guy, they're going to be like, people are like, oh, God damn, you fucking, yeah. all you do is men, men, and white men. And so it's just, they pick. The network picks. So, And Rodman's, he, he does a good job and gets laughs. So um, it's easy to give to him. I don't know if, I feel bad saying this, but I don't find the, the woman funny. Um, I, I haven't seen it. I forget her name. But Lachlan's really good on it. Like, he really is. I'm just, not because he's my friend. No, mine must be there. He really is good at like doing those five minute sets. Like I can't do that shit. That's yeah. That's out of my wheelhouse. But he's practiced it. He worked on it. He's doing good. He's he's a natural candidate. Like if they want to give a deal to someone, he's the guy you'd want to give a show to. Yeah. But I don't think he'll win. So I told him that. I mean, he's like every. He's like I know. He's like I agree with you. And everyone's telling me I'm gonna win. I'm like I don't think so. <laughs> I don't want to be the bearer of bad news. I hope to God he wins. You know, you never know. The, but in those shows, too, don't you want to be number two? Yeah, he even said that on this show, that he'd rather be number two. I think you want to be number two. Because you don't ever want to be known as the winner of Last yes. Comic. You still thing. get the tour. You still get the exposure. You don't have to oh, yeah. be tied to the network. You, you're Ruben Stuttered. You, you become sometimes the guy who's second in American Idol does better than the guy that's first because the public. How many of those are you going to drink? I, I'm sipping it. How, no, I saw you chug it. Well, I just finished it. How many have you had? <laughs> this is actually my second one today. What is it? Five hour extra strength. So you're doing this 24 <laughs> hours. Yeah. Five hour extra psychopath. strength. Well, maybe next time I'm sued, I'll, we can do one of these. Hey, you won your lawsuit. <coughs> yes. Oh, God. Hooray. Thank you. It's ridiculous. For those of you that don't know, Fred got sued <laughs> by the guy that, uh, Kramer, the, the real Kramer. The guy they, that Larry David lived next door to. And he, he was a lanky guy, and he, it was always a mystery what he did for a living. He wasn't funny like Michael Richards, where he'd go through the door, go, you know. He was like Jason. <laughs> like if I wrote Can a I show. Think, uh, oh, I should say, I'll get sued again. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> Jason, this gives you hope you're going to be able to sue this me someday. This guy, oh man, oh, I'm going to get in trouble. <laughs> once, you, once I say that, you know I want to tell the story. This is guy, I shouldn't say it. Oh, please let but me But you know. told the story on no, the no, show. No, there's another one I was going to start. 
this is a delusional guy who you, people listen to your podcast obviously right <laughs> unless this is make believe i've done some of these things I, i've done these things where this this woman claims she has a million people on the mbd that listen and, and it's in her garage it's middle-aged lady older i'm middle-aged so much older and i think she, i did this show she goes we have a question and she's making up questions on highland avenue oh no 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 okay she's making up questions and there was no one <laughs> calling in and and i you know and i i gotta say no because people say well you do my podcast and i'm on skype i'm just talking to some guy in the midwest in his apartment he just wanted to talk to me <laughs> so, so i get to a point where i want you know people listen to them but hey would you go to you know my apart yeah the downtown la and just wait and you know but, there's <laughs> but one how do you guy. find out which if it's good or not i think you know you you find if it's a real friend like i've had some friends it's weird because you, you do these things and you just know like hey i heard you on eddie f i had a bunch of people on twitter reached out to oh, me. oh good good and they, they they said you know they liked it actually this one woman people have requested you back this one woman who donated to my um lawsuit fund which uh, I, uh, I didn't refresh the story but she said thanks for mentioning me on eddie's show so oh wow so you just get feedback there's a, there's one place by the airport that they have this thing but i didn't realize this production company that does all the bill burr dvds and things like that so they just for the hell of it have like a podcast studio it seems like oh it's legit but no one has ever said i heard you on the the thing by the airport. I've you know done what I'm talking about? I've done big 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 shows like where I'm like holy fuck this is a big show where no one has been like I heard, I heard yours. You on that. Yeah, never. Which could you say? And uh no cuz I don't want to cuz I yeah. like but um some shows have traction like Joe Rogan, you go on Joe Rogan's I've never show. Done that oh my god, the next day you'll have like 7,000 Twitter followers and they'll be like heard John Rogan, heard John. But half of them will be like I want to punch you in the head. Uh -huh. no, yeah, that was, well, actually, doing Dr. Drew, people liked it, and some of those, you know. Hey, let's all give a hand for my wife for putting up with this. She's a saint for putting up with Carrying this. Carrying his child. <laughs> but there was, yeah, this and she's pregnant. She's pregnant? What? She's pregnant. Oh, wow. I put a baby in there. Hey, look, it's yeah. Chris. I got a baby I, coming January 1st. This one guy, he's got, like a, he's got a radio show on a legit radio thing. But he's got this podcast no one listens to, and he thinks it's the best thing. And he and he tricked me into. Uh, I thought I'd go on his radio show, but it's the podcast. Oh, that's not <laughs> a good story. And he's a liar. All right. Um, Where's Harley? But I hope he's sorry. Yeah, that dog's gonna run away, and I just want her. You know, it's another thing. The f a few women I've dated a few times. They do this thing where they listen to every podcast you do. Oh, well, I'm shit. listening to you on the mental illness one now. And it's, you know, <laughs> I'm talking about sexual fantasies, about, you know, pretending I'm a male stripper and they're going down on me, you know. And, uh, that, that, and, and so, so now they tell you they're stalking you. They tell you they're researching you. And, you and, and every podcast, they just Google you and... You know, Mark Marin, you know, it's stuff uh, talking about intimate stuff. So Well that's what that's my greatest fear is that like let's say I ever got accused of something like wrong that I did something bad. Right. Like the un unjustly accused. You go back and you can find me out of context saying oh. anything oh, yes. on this show. <clears throat> like now I have a digital footprint of horrendous things that I've said. Horrendous things that I've said in jest. Like that well, I don't remind people if you want. No, I know to. there but was one guy. I won't say who, but I, I went back and, and, and looked through I, a search of all my tweets and deleted the ones where I said bad things about him. See, I'm but not famous enough there, where though. it's still what? Even if you delete it, it's still that's if you're famous. No one, no one, no Check schmuck is going <coughs> to try to keep going, Fred. You're doing good. No. <laughs> wow. So, so this male stripper thing. Is that your thing? Well, not really. I mean, that's a specific kind of fantasy. There, there, there is a, there is a, a, a perverted uh, niche porn site called CFNM, Close Female Naked Male. Oh, yeah, I've seen those. And it's, I think if you like skinny like me and you always felt weird wearing shorts or let alone be naked, so it's this fantasy that, hey, I'm the vulnerable one and they're looking at me and that's pathetic. All right, now... 
<laughs> no one's going to look me up. For, they can't look me up on Google for this Why don't podcast. You, do, you should do your own podcast, I think. Now, you yeah. got to be like a, a Bill Burr, a Chris Titus. They have Why rants. Why do you say that? And they go, you know what no. I fucking hate? And you, and no, you can yeah, talk about No, but you just things. talked. That would be great. The way you um, just talked was perfect for a podcast. I'd listen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I'd run out of. Uh, no, you wouldn't. No, I don't know. I don't watch the news and go. You know what bugs me? And you, you know, today in that's America. That's topics. No, no topics. Talk that's about how topics. you don't watch yes. the news. Uh, yeah. How Chris Titus starts with rants. Hey. So what? You're he, gonna compare yourself to mad. Chris Titus for the rest of your life? <laughs> well, who else do you compare yourself to? <laughs> he, oh, uh, I'm out of here. Taco <laughs> truck. Yeah. Why do you have to leave? Taco truck is here. Oh, Taco man. truck. I have a stomach Taco bear jelly, man, come in. Grab a mic. Tell us what happened. Yeah, what? Get in here. Get in here. What's your name? You're the taco guy? Yeah, this is the taco guy. What's your name? I'm Bryce. Jason. Nice to meet you. Thanks, man. Some, I'm going to eat some food so I don't eat tacos. I have a bad stomach. Oh, really? But I'm going to... Do you have what tortas? You bring these? Well, what do you... No, we don't. We don't do traditional Mexican. Oh, okay. What yeah, do you do? Non-traditional all... Mexican? Yeah, so it's more like uh, American... Like fusion or okay. food kind of. So tell us how you're here. What's up? Like oh, what man. the tell fuck? Tell us how you're here. Well, tell us how you got here. How are you in fucking Venice with your I mean, so first of all, we don't even actually have a real truck. It fucking broke down. <laughs> Engine exploded. So you just so. you just walked here, you got any no, sandwiches got or truck, something? So. <laughs> we got bologna sandwiches yeah. from the taco truck that's non traditional. So really it broke down? Yeah. So we've only been open since fourth of July. Uh-huh. And like we actually we did Fourth of July over on Main Street or by uh, the weed shop and stuff. Okay. But we've already had the wheel tie rod fall off and the engine explode. Like the head gasket blew, overheated. It oh. Just, yeah, it's a. Maybe we should ordeal. buy his truck and make that our short bus podcast yeah, it's mobile. So that's Sounds all like I'm it's saying. You guys better have a mechanic on hand. It's a good deal in the making. I'm Love fried. Me. You're sweating <laughs> right now. It's it's, it's hot. 60 oh, degrees man. outside. <laughs> so this is the rape cottage, huh? So I mean, how did you get here? You just you just listened to the show. You heard oh, us yeah. spouting off about a food truck and so, thought you'd throw down. Yeah. So yesterday I was listening to the podcast and uh, I figured I might as well drive down here. I didn't think you would actually pull off a food truck. So. But you just made it happen, dude. Well, yeah, exactly. I did. That's how it happens. Yeah, just put it out. It's just you put it out there and it just comes back. Right on. See, it meant to be. Here it is. No, so it's not even Mexican. So like we have one that's a cornbread tortilla with fried chicken, uh, coleslaw, and then a maple hot sauce. And then we have another one that's like uh, it's like ahi pokey. So it's cabbage wrapped with a bed of seaweed and then. Ahi tuna and then uh, avocado wasabi aioli. Wow. Oh, yeah. It's not like your standard Mexican taco. That doesn't sound like Mexican food at all. Exactly. Anything not fried? <laughs> yeah. We have uh, a bunch of, I mean, the ahi pokey is raw. Yeah. And what is Usually that? Ahi pokey. It's Hawaiian yeah. style. Like, it's almost like sushi. Sushi yeah, exactly. style. Well, it's sushi I grade. I went to high school with a girl named Mommy Pokey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we've got a bunch of, like, uh, just deconstructed, like, American meals. Nice. Well, thanks for coming down, man. That was fucking amazing. Yeah, dude. thank you. Definitely. Yeah, Jeff, you gonna, where are you going? <laughs> All right. Jeff, where are you going, dude? This thing's 24 hours, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so what is Ahi Pokey again? <laughs> <laughs> I just got a uh, Facebook message. Um, it's Fred. I am watching you on Talking Shit with Eddie. If you better be funny or I'll tell your mom. So, wait, so people, you're filming this? Yeah, this is this is right here. You're on you're on your stream right now, dude. And, oh my god. Takes you Who's back. Jesse Stanga. Do, he'll tell oh. my mom. Does he mean literally? So is this someone I know? No, Jesse Stanga is one of our oh, you know fans. Yeah, I see his name a lot popping up on he remarks on everything. Is that do you know him? Nope. Ray Roy, come here. Like what are you doing? Politics? You still working for the city? What's up? Uh, yes, actually, lots of politics. This is our first generation producer right here, Ray. Producer 1.0. It got better after I left. Mm. <coughs> He's just. Fred doesn't want to talk. No, I'll talk. I wouldn't talk to you either. He's trying to track down whether or not he's actually going to have someone tell his mom if he's not funny. I don't yeah, I know. You, you really have to worry about he's, it. Fred. Fred's really like taken back by our fans. 
Well, Jason, the, the fans are watching us, not them. There's a lot of commotion in the I'm house. watching Fred. Fred, what are you doing over here? Just replying to one thing, then I got, got your attention. But my life's boring. What have you been up to? Uh, just this shit. Well, I've just working. Heard, I've heard the last I was the last I heard of you, you were dead. Internet dead. Yeah, Not no, that really was dead, Eddie. Internet dead. Eddie liked to put that out there. Right, but he did that while you were on the show. That so I died? No, I wasn't on the show. No, meaning you were on the show and he was still telling people you were dead. So yeah, fine. yeah. But no, yeah. so I actually thought I was like, holy shit, maybe. And then I realized no. But then you had a resurgence of sorts and you were gainfully employed and still not on the podcast. Yeah. And then you I did that. Back. Yeah, I took a year I took a year to just grow. Do my More own thing. No, I, I think I lost some weight in that you time did, period. You and Machete both look better. Well, yeah, well, Machete's a workout you. fiend. He actually left the show to go work out. I actually heard some crazy CrossFit nonsense that you did something CrossFit related. Oh wait, what did we end up? Uh, the thing that you're telling, we had to guess how many he did the other night. What was the number? What was it twenty minutes? Cindy. All right, let's change the subject. Oh, I want to know what his Cindy was. He did nine. Okay. Almost nine. My favorite thing nine? about CrossFit you is I have to realize that. that they're not That's talking good. about That's good. Nine. Women. And guess what? We have the uh, capabilities to do it here. So we can see if you can beat Machete. Come mm. on. Nah. I got 24 hours. I'm yeah, we got 20 nah. We'll do it later. It's 20 we'll do minutes. It later. <laughs> All right. So you so were into hour four. We're into hour four. My guests right now, Fred Stoller, we bought Ray Roy, who used to be the producer of the show from the beginning. Jason, four. that's always here. We're in hour five. I'm losing my mind. Um, the band's about to play. Fred won his lawsuit, which we're not allowed to talk about because he doesn't want to get sued again. I could talk about that I won. <laughs> I feel like it's over after he wins. But I just had to get it, take a jab at the guy who lied, saying I was going to be on his radio show and his podcast. I, I'm, I'm, I'm such a happy guy. Now, why be bitter? Positiveness. <laughs> There's Wait. so many good people. Fred, well. so you won the lawsuit. Did you have to go show up in court? No, my actually, uh, sorry. My <laughs> lawyer <coughs> had to go to New York, and they had oral arguments. How much did it cost total? <laughs> oh, sorry. I uh, I don't want to say because I don't want Kramer high fiving his buddies. Going, I made him sweat. I um, it was it was a big headache. It's crazy. It's um, I was talking to I was talking to another celebrity who was telling me the same kind of thing, that I think we were talking about you, and he was talking about how he got sued once from a guy who claimed to be his manager that he had never met. Just a stalker who oh, said he was his manager. There's a lot of that, yeah. And then he, the guy sued him for, for I can make a, I can make something up. I could say on talking shit, you thought I was Jim Jeffries and you punched me in the head. And uh, and then I could take you to court. You know, and you'd have to answer that. She's looking like, no, I won't do don't, that. Don't sue. I, <laughs> don't sue. We got a baby coming. All right. But I'm saying you could make things up and it's ridiculous. But you know something... Uh, I hate to sound like, um, what I, have to s I don't know who, who I had to say like, sound like. It's like, this is a bad analogy. No, I, sh I, sh I don't want to diminish people who got hurt physically. Um, no, when something bad happens and you, you can't let one person. Yeah, so many yeah. outpouring I don't love. think that'll ever happen again, but it is. It's, it's so many people. Helped you out? I, oh, just yeah, donated and, and on, wished me good stuff and was so it was just obvious it was malicious and ridiculous and made up and and people were just so supportive i've heard once that the theory behind wikipedia is there's more good people than bad people in the world so as much as people write ugly shit about you there's enough good people that'll clean it up and there's more good than there is bad but if you look at my wikipedia there's way more bad there's way more bad. People saying bad things. Oh my God! They just said that I had like gay sex with Jim Jeffries, and that's why we broke up. And my mom and dad called me, and they're like, "You need to have this taken off." And I was like, "Why?" <laughs> You're like, "Why?" I put you know, it there. One thing Kramer didn't realize is that uh, I, unless um, you know, you the press said you were molesting boys on and giving out crack. That, that adage of bad press, I'm not saying this was good for me. It's like when a heckler goes, hey, I helped you. No, yeah, you didn't help yeah. me. But <coughs> I Every had, once in a while they do. Every yeah, once in a while. Yeah, if the crowd's on your side. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> if the crowd's on your side. The worst is, um, I, I was in San Antonio. The only time I ever ran into anti-Semitism, 
because I didn't know. I used to do the New York comedy clubs, and you could just do your act. I didn't realize when I first went on the road, you got to acknowledge you're the Jew in their territory. <laughs> you, you can't just, you know, they love it if you're in town. Hey, you know, like in colleges, I started learning the trick. You ask for the school newspaper. I heard Mrs. Mendelssohn got elected. Hey, he mentioned us. Hey, I was at the cafeteria there, speed bumps. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> you got to, you can't, you can't just start your act. So, so it took me a while to realize that. I like when you act out things <laughs> yeah they get excited it's like He's that guy that hey inflatable thing at the car lot you, oh no and uh oh. all right i I'm, i think i'm gonna be bumped in a second <laughs> i think Duh. fred you and your stories no we got a woman with, that? with shorts no that's on the bus she's with shorts mm-hmm. get this middle-aged jew out of here <laughs> I, uh, but so i was in texas and people would scream out, hey, Jew, where'd you get your nose job? And, <laughs> and uh, Really? Yeah, I never ran into anti-Semitism. But what they didn't like was I would just start my act. And like I said, th- this was a long time ago. And I never really headlined. It was my like, first headlining thing. You got to, you know, after I learned the trick, you st- I'd say, hey, I'm not from around here, obviously. I'm from Dallas. Hey, <laughs> Rosemary, you know. And I get excited. Is it always Dallas? Well, no, well you know, you, you get the joke. Like, right. he, he's going to say New York. Oh, he said a thing that he's really not from. So, you, or, you know, you have to say things like, hey, Michael Jordan, he's great. You know, if you're from Chicago, you know, when you're doing Chicago, you, you could use these. And, uh, <laughs> or if in Australia, what would I open with? I never did Australia. Hey, I hear you guys uh, it's south of here. <laughs> you know, and then you're I'm showing, taking notes. You're showing, you're acknowledging them. So, so okay, so one, okay, this is about heckling. So I was doing bad, and they were all like taught. The worst is, did you ever get this? I like when they heckle where they're an asshole and everyone can hear them go, oh, yeah, and they applaud, you know. But, <laughs> like, I was just at the Brayer Improv, and someone said, you're telling these long-winded stories. Give us a punchline. When you want a punchline, fuck you, and they all applauded. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> because they're on my side. The worst is when someone is talking and disturbing, but they're not doing it loud enough so everyone hears what jerks they are. So you look like an idiot. So so I was at Aust- uh, no, no, um, uh, I forgot right, San Antonio, and I told the, uh, the managers, because usually they shut people up. I go, could you tell them if they don't shut up, they're kicked out? He interpreted that as kick them out. Oh. And one of them was on crutches, so it looked like I kicked out two, <laughs> two crippled ladies. So she's like going with crutches, and they're booing me. And I, and I said, if, if you keep booing, I can't do my act. So they shut up, and they had their arms folded, and, and, and they wouldn't laugh. And I said, uh, I'm, no one's getting anything at us. So I walked up the stage. The, the waitresses hadn't had their checks out. So they were going to fire me, you know, because I was bombing. But then the, then the club owner had an idea. He goes, you know, you do those jokes. You know, remember my thrill seeker jokes? I drank milk that expired yesterday. I was on a bus while I was in motion. I talked to the driver. He goes, I think when you do those jokes, you're antagonizing them because you're acting like a badass and, and, and you're being aggressive, which is ridiculous. So, so the point of this is you were killing f- 24 hours, and, <laughs> and I think I just did that a little bit. <laughs> I appreciate it, man. So, so I think in the scheme of the 24 hours, Fred, I could just let you good. talk for an hour straight, and uh, I'd watch. This might be good in that there'll be a lot of stuff. And um, <laughs> who is that? One of the guys that punched me in the head. <laughs> if I looked at his girlfriend, that. oh, that guy. No, he's totally legal. All right. And uh, in fact, you can go home and watch more of her online. Oh, yeah. What's the wh- I, I, I'm what's her name? Bonnie. 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 I was telling them. Really already? No. <laughs> I was Where are you going? My favorite niche porn what? site. She, I, I, I. What do you like about me? I like I, I, you made me stop what and wanted. I well, from all the videos I've seen you and which ones have you done? A lot. <laughs> I said, you know, I say I said. I'm old enough to remember when water was free and porno wasn't. (laughs) 
it's not doesn't work in the clubs, but you think about it. It's because, <laughs> because now I used to, you know, I used to have to go to a liquor store and buy a video and wait for people to go ahead of me. But now, or remember online, I used to pay for some of these things that I know was billing me every month. But now you just have you porn. And we it's don't like, talk about you porn. Yeah, because um, she doesn't make money on that. I don't make money on that. And but I pay a lot of money to produce porn out. Oh, really? Which, which is your thing? I'll donate. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I'll send them to you. I'll email them to all you. All right, you porn, but, but it's like it's like speed dating. Like, all of a sudden, you get picky because you don't know which one. Like, all right, I'm not into that. I don't... What's cockload? What's that one where you humiliate someone? There's these next thing. What's it called? Cuckold. 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 There's, a, there's a thing where, hey... You fuck me. While, while my husband watches, watches you and, they're also and he has a little dick and he has to jerk Wait off a by himself. I just thought of a new TV show. Just the two of these. <laughs> 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 this is <Fuck>. genius. <laughs> this is I, uh, genius. And then he, we <laughs> laugh at him while he's in the corner and he feels really bad about himself because he can't oh come God. on me. D Body, sit is it coming in his over, hand sit or over. he has to eat the come <laughs> out of sit you? Sit beside Jason right, and, and I like this. Where's my vodka? Sit I, oh I like. Oh my goodness. <laughs> sit here. All right. This Just is brilliant. You two talk. Yeah. I, That's I'm, I'm still an idiot. All right. Uh, <laughs> this is like. <laughs> you know, they said you're going to be in a, a video with her for $2,000. I said, I'll pay it. <laughs> <laughs> you're the kind of man I want on my yeah, production. Yeah, yes. <laughs> I will pay to work with her. I'm sick of paying guys to fuck me. Oh, yes. They, they, they it's must bullshit. Be so first. I once actually watched a porno being uh, videoed. Um, do you know a guy named Slane Wayne? <laughs> no, I don't. I'm glad that I don't. Slane, I, he, he, did a, he did a thing for extreme videos. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. I don't like those. Extre I, I don't, extreme Associates? Oh, yes. I don't like... Where, okay, okay let me tell you guys woman. about Extreme Associates. What they used to do, they would have girls shit, piss, and vomit... And, and that was just in the lobby. In like, you know that joke? they'd have dudes come in the blender, and then they would blend it all up, and the get girls would have to here. drink it, or they'd have to get fucked in the ass and gape their ass and pour it, was it into their ass and yeah. get out of each other's. It was disgusting. I, I, Not my thing. Business? No, I, this is America. Photos? That's just this is America. getting ridiculous. <laughs> I um, I like, I still like a story. Yeah. I, no, I'm really you like, like, like a story <laughs> like um. I even like the fake one. All right, this is. Let me tell you a story. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. once upon a time, you came into a convenience store, and I needed a Slim Jim. And there was no Slim Jims to be found. All the Slim Jims that were on the counter were dusty. So you offered me your Slim Jim. And I took your Slim Jim. All of your Slim Jim. Oh, she's good. <laughs> she's, she comes up I with, felt a uh, boner. It's, uh, oh. Well, me and the dogs got fixed, so, uh, <laughs> and now you'll get a boner from him. I, uh, I like, even though I know it's fake, you, well, all right, even though it's fake, like uh, pretending they're picking up a woman or those, what is with the humiliation, these fake casting things, like, hey, you're auditioning, and they don't even know there's not a you job. You mean like the casting couch? Yes, that, that, that one. That's not a real thing. Yes, none of them are real. No. None of them, but I do like, I used to like, even though he's disgusting, the dirty debutantes. Because oh, I like the illusion. Ed that Powers. This is, this is the I first love time. Ed. Ed is one of the dirtiest Ed. old men but I, I know. You know what he used to do? This is my impression of him. He still, even though he's paying them, he still wants to believe that they're enjoying it. He goes, oh, yeah. are you attracted to me? Do you find me cuddly? That's the only thing he'd come up with. I'm cuddly. <laughs> you know what I mean? And uh, But, yeah, he's like, I like that they... But they're probably not even really telling real He's stories. He's adorable. No, not at so all. Middle-aged guys can be adorable. They can be on adorable. Note, if you're Ed, you can hey, be adorable. Hey, I want to close up this episode so we can bring on the next one. You guys can stick around for the next episode. But I want to thank everybody for being here. Jeff Richards, um, thank you very much. Anything to plug? Just the Shingles album. The Shingles uh, album. Get it it's on Tasty iTunes? Jeff. Com. Tasty Jeff. Jeff. Tasty Jeff. Tasty But they don't do, they don't, it's not a thing where if you forget to shut <laughs> it off in a month. It's not a thing where hey, oh, I forgot he fucking ate all my pizza, didn't he? God! It's not a thing where you Where's forget the, taco man? With the credit card. You know what I'm saying? Those things. I got you, you Fred. Forget we to can shut talk about off. them on the next episode. All Stick right. around. Oh, oh, Fred sure. Stoller, your dog you owes plug me. anything. She'll make you pizza. Uh, my 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 book. Uh, maybe I'll be back to Kindle single. My Seinfeld year. Uh, <laughs> I, I used to go yeah, but I was watching my New Yorkness. You, myself, I, you and then are. Bonnie Rotten, we're not going to introduce you because you're going to be on the next yeah, episode. Fuck me. So, so uh, thank, thanks everybody for Bonnie being a part of this episode. And uh, always go to uh, eddietalkingshit.com. Got some merch left, some things. Uh, thanks for supporting Bingo Bus, everything.
whatever. Go fuck yourselves. Boom.